Good morning, guys. It's the morning of day two. I had a pretty good night. I didn't go to bed till about 11, but that's a lot better than what I usually happens when I'm at home, so I can live with that. I had a, a lot of time to read. I had a lot of time to catch up with some friends back home. Sent out a few messages, so it was a good night. The tree, the dead tree that I camped under in a windy situation did not get me, so I'm on to the next one. What do you got? Day two. All right, over and out. I also forgot to mention it's going to be, it's raining currently, and it's going to be raining a lot today. Um, and there's supposed to be a bad storm as well, so I'm going to probably not be recording much. I'm going to be booking it into uh, Neil Gap Hostel, which I'm sure will be full by the time I get there. But I'm going to try to make it there and see if I can get out of the weather for tonight. If not, I'll probably go up to Bulls Gap and camp there. All right, guys, over and out. All right, guys, so this is the beginning of day two. My goal was to get to Neil Gap Hostel, spend the night there because it's going to rain quite heavily. Um, as you can see, I don't think it's going to come out quite on the camera, but it is a foggy, foggy day. It's supposed to rain today, rain tomorrow, heavy thunderstorms, uh, heavy storming tonight. So, let me see if I could get to the hostel before everyone else does, but I'm pretty sure since I'm in the bubble, a lot of people are going to have the same idea. Since I went a little further yesterday, I uh, was able to cut today down to 14 miles, so that's going to be nice and manageable. I might have to camp a uh, hike one mile past Neil Gap to Bull Gap and call it a night there, which will make tomorrow shorter, so... No big deal. But yeah. Trail has been pretty awesome so far. Um, it's been quiet, peaceful. Exactly what the doctor ordered. I don't think I'm going to have a lot of views today. You know what I can do is I've been here before. So I can reject this reality and substitute a different one after I edit. Alright guys, so I am just short of Gerard Gap. I've done about 8.7 miles today. Um, so far it's about noon, look past 12.30. Um, yeah, I met a few hikers today, a lot more than I did yesterday. Met Captain, got that name because he works on a fishing boat. Um, also met Jeremy, who is a farmer from Wisconsin. And met a few other people here and there. But as you can see, not the best weather again today. It's still super foggy. Looks like we're all kind of just racing either to the shelter before blood or um, Neil Gap Hostel. Because the weather is going to get disgusting. Like utterly disgusting tonight. So while racing there. I think I got, I don't know, about seven, six and a half, seven more miles than Neil Gap. So I'm not too far away. Still got to get up and over blood, of course. That's always fun. There's nothing I haven't seen before. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully, 
I get there quickly and the weather holds out and doesn't rain on me just yet so far. You know it's kind of cold. I'm still just hiking in my polyester shirt. I don't feel like putting on my rain jacket or my rain gear even though I'm the only one who does it. But all right, I'm gonna keep going. Feeling good. Feeling strong-ish. Feeling my legs. This 40 pound pack is giving me a little trouble and not backpacking for so long it is also hurting me, but I'm still doing 50. I mean, my first day was 18 miles. I'm just going good. All right, guys, over and out. All right, guys, I'm here at the top of Blood Mountain. As you can see, there's an amazing view. There's the shelter right there. I am gonna be spending the night at New day would be worth it. The new gap was my plan anyway, so it's not like that's a problem. I just know it's kind of early. I'm not going to three hours. I'm thinking I'm not going to have legs to keep going. So it's just a shame that it's supposed to thunder so much because I just want to keep my gear dry. I made it down to Neil's Gap. As you can see, trail crosses this road. Everyone else gets pizza. I, on the other hand, get fruit. I love Neil's Gap. Oh. All right, guys. It is 8:30. I'm getting a much later start. I'm walking through the only place where the AT goes under a building, as you can see behind me. If I could get it, there it is. So yeah, today is going to be almost 19 miles. Sorry, I'm okay. Yeah, so today is going to be almost 19 miles. It's going to be a long day. Um, it's going to be interesting. At least the rains hold off, so that's nice. So Blue Mountain Shelter next, over and out. All right guys, so I made it to Cow Rock, about five miles, almost five miles. As you can see, I'm kind of fogged in. You got a little bit of view on that side, but it's still quite misty. Um, doing well today, doing really well. Oops. Doing well today, doing really well. I uh, had about five miles in two hours. So 2.5, I'm going to see, I'm going to push it, I'm going to think I'm going to make it to Blood Mountain, or Blue Mountain Shelter, I should say. But the trail, as you can see, quite muddy. I am quite muddy and wet, because I don't want to use my rain jacket, because I'm just going to get soaked. I'm just going to sweat myself to death with the uh, rain jacket. So, yeah, I just decided to get wet. And luckily the temperature is decently warm that I'm not cold, especially while I'm moving. So, all right, figured I'd give you an update. Just 13 more miles to go today, almost 14. All right, over and out. All right, guys, 
So, just got out of Low Gap Shelter. The rain finally went away. That is very good news. My feet are still soaked. Socks and all, boots and all. I'm a little worried to see what my feet are gonna look like at the end of the day. Shouldn't be too bad, I hope. But I just got out of Low Gap Shelter. I had a big lunch, hung out with some people. Today was actually pretty cool because I, for the first time, was able to hike with someone who kept my pace for a good bit. So, Tank, it was a pleasure hiking with you. I really enjoyed it. You're a badass hiker, that's for sure. Hopefully I'll see you down the trail. I'm sure I will. But, as you can see, the weather has cleared out. It is quite nice. The sun's even shining a bit. So we got... So I have 7 miles. 7.3. To the next shelter where I plan to meet a friend who's gonna come out and hike for me with me for a little bit over the weekend which is really cool so onward to my first 19 mile day on the AT just look at this day uh. It's just a gorgeous day. It's turned into a beautiful day. I might actually be able to dry out my my clothes tonight. I know it's supposed to get cold, which is a problem. Because a lot of my stuff, on my body at least, is wet. And I want to get it too cold. And this dirty is so muddy because the trail was... It was the Appalachian Stream more than the Appalachian Trail for a good sections. I mean, to this, this is dry right here compared to some other sections. But I do love this little section um, after a little gap because it's like, I want to say this is no logging road. It's just very chill and relaxed. Ground is very soft. Allows you to really kind of just walk and enjoy where you're not trudging up a mountain or worried about your feet going down a mountain. God. You gotta love being up here. Alright guys, over and out. <laughs>